Hi YouTube. I'm making a paper towel rack for my work area, my workbench. You see the paper towel rack I have here, it don't work. You know, it doesn't hold nothing. And I'm tired of fighting with it. I made a wood one for the other room in the basement. And I'm making one for here. I figured I'd give you a general idea of what I'm doing here. first board here, I'm just using old 2x4s I got laying around. First one here is 15. That's 15 inches there. And that, that'll be like the top. And then I got two, I got two sides. That goes like that. So these are six inches. These are six. And then the hole's right in the middle. So it holds uh, one, one and three quarters over in the middle. And then I got them uh, two and a half inches up. So that's, I'm, I'm just cutting the second one here. So it's one and three quarter over, so it's centered, and then two and a half inches up. Okay, and I'm using one of these things to cut the hole. The first one I, I made, I, I made these holes square, because I put a square piece of board near these, and, and I was hoping the square board would stop the roll from flopping around, you know. But it but it didn't work. It still spun. So I'm just gonna. I've I've, I've got this old uh, broom handle. I'm 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 just gonna use this one. This time. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna cut the hole here. these two things cut. So these will go on the 2x4 like this. Okay, so I'm going to screw these on. some pilot holes here. This side's not quite square. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I want it to look pretty. Oh hell, it's, it's uh, close enough. I'm not gonna worry about it. Drill some holes in here. Excuse my mess, but I've been doing quite a bit this week. That's my project for later today is to clean up the bench here. I figured I'd get this out of the way. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. I'm looking for my drill bit. Small right here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I put it up there so I wouldn't lose it. I think I'm going to go with just two screws here.
here into uh, workout powders. These uh, jugs that you get from GNC work real good for the nails. Buy a, buy a box of nails, you know, 30 bucks. I'm going to use jugs. Uh, three inch deck screws here. There's the basic towel rack. And uh, I'm gonna need a couple holes here to screw it on the walls. I think I'm gonna go three. I make it longer so it sticks out on both the sides. I'm going to say right about here. Measure once, cut twice, right? Rather have it too long than too short. These saws are great if you don't have one, go and get one. I have a Craftsman outside, and it seems to cut a lot better. This one works great, it's a Stanley, it works great, but the Craftsman really seems to rip right through wood. And it's a pretty clean cut too, so. That's pretty scary. I was trying to make it so it lasts forever, you know. Okay, so this will go in here. Now we got to make it so it doesn't flop out, right? So I just put a, a bolt in each side. Okay, so I got to drill a couple holes here.
these are kind of big but that's all I really got plus I don't want them to rust it it's kind of a wet basement here so. This is going to be close here because it's a small pole, but it's something. Throw it up there for now. Maybe I'll get something else later. Next time I go to the store. Let's see if I can get a hole cut in here without breaking it. Not pretty, but it's better than fighting with that rack up there. Here's the completed paper towel. See, I got this pole here. I put a couple bolts to the end here. Pole goes through here, comes out this side. This side I leave loose, so when I need to put, I, I need to put a new one on. So it still spins. That's what I was trying to get. I was trying to get get away from. But you know what you can do is just squeeze the roll, and then then it won't spin so fast. See ya.